So I am here today at Pinewood Studios for Ronin. Not that guy from Boyzone. This DJI Ronin 2. This, in case you didn't get it from the name, is the successor to the Ronin. It's been given a bit of a makeover and I'm here to get my hands on one. Oh my God, that's heavy. Jesus. I think I've just created a brand new hemorrhoid just by lifting that up. Okay, let's get hands off for a moment. So the good thing is that it's got feet, so you can just plonk it down when your back gives up. Okay. Cry, my back. Yeah, so despite being made out of carbon fiber, it's still got a fair bit of weight to it. But the thing is splash proof, so it's kind of British weather proof. You know, it's gonna handle the typically drizzly British weather or not so typically dribbly person. So the thing is powered by two batteries, the same batteries as seen in the Inspire 2, and they're self-heating batteries, so if you're in a cold environment, it'll warm itself up. Brilliant. And they're hot swappable as well, so you can take one out and it won't shut down. Now battery life is about eight hours uptime, that's just by powering the device by itself. But if you use it to power in that and a camera like a red camera, you get about two and a half hours of battery life, which is pretty good as the battery charging time is 90 minutes. So you can charge your batteries, you can charge two batteries and use another two batteries. Once those are finished charging, you just swap them around. A neat power solution, a neater tucking away of cables within the carbon fiber frame to a super tidy quick setup thanks to the slick knobs and software. It's quite quick to power up, it's got auto-tune stability which you can see on the touchscreen as you're powering the thing up. The interface is as simple and as intuitive as one of their consumer products and why not? Why does Pro Gear need to be complex to set up anyway? You can also use the DJI app which has also got features like time-lapse, panorama and camera anchor. And also you can use remote control with control from up to a mile away. But up close is where you get to see how impressive it is. In terms of performance it's got five times higher torque and you can use it up to speeds of 75 miles per hour. It can technically break the British speed limit. That's thanks to two things. One, GPS. And two, huge ass motor that has five times more torque than the old one to keep things in place. It's all about that motor. It makes this thing so responsive too. Everyone's swinging it about and the Ronin 2 keeps up the pace, whether it be handheld, on a steady cam, jib, cable cam, car rig, eating a sandwich, it looks impressive. Okay. Let's get you done up here. Excuse the man handling. I'm used to it. It's just another way. It's usually Friday for me, but. Uh... <laughs> okay. got, got that? Yeah. Okay. Once you click to the way, a bit easier. That's it. Okay. So, you two. You're sort of waddling at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's my natural walk. Is this, is this it? That's, that's how I walk. Okay, take it. No. Okay. okay. So let it's my first time using one, but it didn't take me long to feel like a machine. Wonder. Got a lovely shot of the caraman's crotch. Exactly. That's, that's what I wanted, though. <laughs> still, still folk. <laughs> Not the kind of video I was planning to shoot. Just, just getting shots of people's crotches now. Which, which is just as well I can't show you the footage from this today. Just all dudes' crotches. There you go. <laughs> so what do you think of the Ronin 2? I like it. Yeah? yeah. I mean, I'm surprised that is the honest answer. It handles a gargantuan payload of 13 kilogram, which means a lot. Reds, no problem. Alexa, mm, yes please. And with some fat glass for some front heavy setups, this can handle it. It did really well. We had no, the motors didn't stop at any point. They didn't give up. 
I tell you what though, I think I've had enough of looking at men's crotches for today anyway, so I'm gonna put it down. Oof. With the ring thing, this is five and a half kilograms. Four and a half kilograms without the ring. The original Ronin is four and a half kilograms. When you combine that with an Alex or chunky payload, it certainly is far from light. But with the tweaks and improvements, this is one heavyweight of a performer. As it can handle some huge payloads, this is probably more than some people actually need. But there is no denying, what a beast of a gimbal this is.